This is Jennifer Whitaker with the Press Enterprise and PE.com reporting from the Temecula Cemetery. The historic seven-acre plot is the final resting place for many of the area's founders, including four generations of the family of Malcolm Burnett. The land for this area where we're standing was donated by Mercedes Peugeot in 1884. She had been married to Dominguez Peugeot and, uh, from Spain. He came here with Juan Marietta and his partners, and they had 52,000 acres. And Jose Gonzalez, my great-grandfather, managed the property for him. Jose Gonzalez, and uh, he came here in 1874. Jose was buried here with his wife, his son, and his daughter, who was Isabel. My other great-grandfather, Eli Barnett, came here in the 1890s, and we have over here the Barnett plot. He had nine children, and six of his children are buried right here in the cemetery. Uh, Eli Barnett came here in the 1890s, and he actually bought the property that uh, was originally uh, owned by Juan Marietta. And he built a big ranch house, two-story ranch house. He had nine children. And uh, he actually, uh, with, with other businessmen, built the uh, bank building in uh, Old Town Temecula, now houses the Mexican restaurant. So the Barnett's, uh, his oldest daughter is interesting, uh, built Mother's Cafe in 1927. She married Charles Clarks, and we know it as a swing in today. Uh, George Burnham came here in Temecula, and then he uh, purchased the uh, what we know is the Mercantile Building, the Dell, the only brick building we built in Old Town. And, uh, it was the only place to buy anything, really, because without the Burnham store, we had to go to uh, Riverside to maybe get some clothes before you started first grade or you know, the grammar school. This was World War II, and, and Temecula was just landlocked. It Despite the houses and the freeway that have slowly gathered around the cemetery, Burnett says it is still a restful place. It just has an atmosphere about it. The Temecula Cemetery, is, uh, even though with the buildings around here and you can hear the freeway, but it's a, it's a peaceful little hill here with a knoll. But For the Press Enterprise and PE.com, this is Jennifer Whitaker.